Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a tag for you all. I was tagged by two lovely girls here on YouTube, Teresa and Lauren. I will link them in the description box below. You can go check out their channels if you're interested. So it is called The Seven Deadly Sins of Beauty, and there are just seven questions, and it all has to do with beauty. Though the last two are kind of random, but I always like when they throw random questions in there. So let's just jump right in. Number one, what is your most inexpensive and your most expensive? My most inexpensive would have to be any of my e.l.f. products. I have a lot of e.l.f. products though. I just brought a couple um, of these little eyeshadow palettes in here because I have like 10 at least of these. And what I love is that it comes with four different colors in here. These are just a dollar. You, They're not really pigmented. You do have to put on a primer, but I usually use a primer no matter what anyway. But just a dollar. They have tons of one dollar products. Lip glosses, lipsticks, their brushes are only a dollar. The oil blotting sheets that I've mentioned that I love are a dollar. Um, you can get them at Target. They have a website. Or you can find them at random other stores, like my grocery store sells them. Like, what, I didn't I didn't expect to see them. One day I was just walking down, getting groceries, and there's an elf. Like, it's just one of those big four-sided things that spins. And there's elf, like, oh, right there, asking for me to buy elf products while I'm grocery shopping. So, of course, I had to buy some things. So, that you can get them. Just look around. Random places I have found sell elf. And then my most expensive is the Naked Palette, of course. It's, it's a bit pricey, but worth every penny, and I love it. I knew I wanted it for a long time. Time and I finally gave in and got it a couple months ago and I've been using it ever since. I absolutely love it. What beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? Glitter nail polish. I don't have any to show you but we all know that glitter nail polish is so difficult to get off. So hard. I love it. It's so cute when you have it on. It switches it up a bit from just having a normal nail polish on. But when I have to take it off, I just sit there and scrub and scrub and scrub. Like that is what I do when I watch TV or watch my YouTube videos is take off my glitter nail polish. So I have a love-hate relationship with glitter nail polish. Um, what product has been the hardest to get? I don't know why, but this MAC lipstick, it's like Viva... Let me see. Viva Glam Gaga 2. And it's the brown. It's a very neutral color. But this is kind of, this is the color of lipstick I like. This and pinks. I'm not really a red lipstick person. But I wanted this lipstick for so long. But it, I had to go to like four or five different places that sell MAC before I could find this. I don't know why. It wasn't when it first came out. They just, people, I don't know. No one had it. But I finally got it and I was really excited. But when I, that question, I saw that question, this is what came to mind. I just had a hard time finding this. What are your most delicious beauty products? This Lip Smoothie Lipstick from Pop Beauty, and it says right on there, Lip Smoothie. And this one is pink. I have three of them, but this one's called, it's just called pink. But it's a very pink color. It just smells great. Oh, it tastes good. It's not too tacky as far as... If you put aside the fact that it smells good and tastes good, the lip gloss itself is a good lip gloss. It's not too thick, it's not too tacky, anything like that. So all, overall, it's a great lipstick. So this is by far my most delicious beauty product. And what beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? I would have to say chapstick or like any way to moisturize my lips because I wear lip gloss and lipstick, but I feel like maybe at night when I should put some chapstick on, I don't. I just don't feel like I don't feel like going and finding my chapstick and it is bad because then I when I try to put on some lipsticks I I can see the flakiness on my lips and I really need to do it more often but I just I'm too lazy sometimes to find my chapstick what beauty product gives you the most self-confidence I would have to say having my eyelashes done um, and I don't wear fake eyelashes. I just have never, I've tried it. I can't do it. I can't figure it out very well. But I like my eyelashes how they are anyway. So mascara and having my eyelash curler. It, just having my eyelashes done gives me the most self-confidence. I, I could just walk out the door without any of my makeup on. I would try not to do that because then I'd feel a little bit naked. But <laughs> I just love having my eyelashes done, having mascara and having them curled, and it gives me a lot of self-confidence to know that they are done. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? So this one, these last two don't have to do with beauty, but I would have to, I would say they have to be really funny, and I think I'm married, and my husband is really funny. Like, we just get along so well. We just have these jokes, I don't know, and I 
I just, like, we can say certain things and we know what we mean and they just are hilarious to us. Like, maybe most people would be like, what? Like, inside jokes. I just, he's hilarious. He makes me laugh when I'm upset. Um, he's not a very emotional person. Like, if I'm just crying, he's probably more likely to just leave me alone and not really question me. He doesn't like to talk about emotions. But he will try to make me laugh or try to make me cheer up or do something that's funny to make me feel better. So definitely someone has to be funny and then um, I think that they have to be, um, I don't know what the word is, they have to be driven. They have to want to um, be successful I guess is I guess the best way to put it. I don't know. My husband, you know, he has a job, of course, He's, he helps support, we both work full time. That I think that's very important. I don't know that I could really stand if someone was lazy and didn't want to uh, help contribute to the household and that sort of thing. So I just love that he's so driven and he's very, he loves his job. He really loves it. He goes above and beyond if there's something extra that he can do that isn't um, necessary. Like he doesn't have to go to it, he'll go to it. He just loves to do extra things that have to do with his job and he's just very driven. He's always got to do something. Even when I'm just like, let's just have a lazy day because it's our day off or something. No, he's going to be productive and get something done even when it's not with his job. His whole life is just being productive. So I think those two things are, are big things for me. And what items would you most like to receive as a gift? No, I don't, I'm not going to relate this to beauty, I don't think, because I don't, I don't know, I don't really like getting beauty gifts or beauty items as gifts because I like to kind of pick out things that I would want. I don't know. And a lot of the people that give me gifts don't really know what to pick out as far as beauty items, but I just like personal things. Like, I like when my husband brings me flowers or, um, just nothing anything extreme I just like cards just a nice heartfelt card with a note in it just that sort of thing I don't know if I was supposed to mention something as far as what beauty item I'd want but I don't really I there's nothing really I can think of that I'd want as a beauty item I just like gifts to be more simple and more heartfelt I think that they mean more like that so that is my seven deadly what's it called seven deadly sins of beauty tag so I tag you all if you're watching this and you haven't done it yet Go ahead and do it and post it below as a video response, definitely. I'd love to watch it. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.